How's it going everybody? I am back with yet another short and to the point guitar and chords tutorial. Today it's Fountains of Wayne with Mexican Wine. This is a special request. I don't remember who it was in the comments um, on one of the videos, but uh, they were a little stuck on the middle eight part, bridge part, so I'm here to help you. All right, so sorry these are so late. I've been so busy and uh, oddly inspired, which is awesome. Uh, I've been doing a lot of music lately, so that's exciting. Anyway, um, I hope you're having a good new year so far. So let's get uh, right down to it. Standard tuning. I got the chart here. So um, everything's quiet in the beginning. Um, it's basically uh, F sharp. You can do power chords. Uh, we could do it up here. Uh, to C sharp. Uh, to D sharp power chord. To B. like this two times that's the quiet first first verse and then when we get to the quiet first chorus uh it's got that harpsichord whatever's going on anyway uh i'm just trying to fly through this i'm all coffeeed up because without it i don't know how the hell i get through this all right so the first chorus is f sharp c sharp b three times C sharp, B, and then this time F sharp, C sharp, C sharp, F sharp. Then D sharp minor, C sharp, C sharp, F sharp. Okay? A lot of nuances in all Fountains of Wayne songs. That's why they're so fucking brilliant. And man, if you didn't get the memo, Adam Schlesinger died of COVID 19. He was one of the first musicians to pass away from that in April of 2020. A uh, huge musical influence of mine. Anyway, go check out Ivy and Fountains of Wayne and anything else Adam Schlesinger has done, including That Thing You Do with Tom Hanks, 1996. He wrote the song That Thing You Do. All right. Fantastic. Anyway, back to all this. All right. So uh, reviewing the chorus, F sharp, C sharp, B, F sharp, C sharp, B, three times. F sharp, C sharp, B. Last time, F sharp, C sharp, C sharp, F sharp. Then D sharp minor, C sharp, C sharp, F sharp. Okay, now we're in the second verse. Um, we're we're going to add some little chromatic transitions in between. So in the second verse, we got F sharp to C sharp. Then you can raise your finger, kind of creates like a diminished chord, uh, passing through to the D sharp minor. Okay, so watch. Second verse, F sharp, C sharp, pass through. All right, so you just kind of shrink your power chord. And then you're on D sharp minor, C sharp, B, B minor, F sharp, C sharp, string finger, D sharp minor, C sharp, B, B minor. Great writing. I mean, I cannot stress how brilliant Fountains of Wayne are, were, whatever. Um, so it's just awesome. The first verse, they're just doing the simple power chords, right? And then that second verse, they add the little transitions and it makes it so much more interesting and melodic and perfect. Now, uh, this second chorus, is going to be just like the first. F sharp, C sharp to B, and on the third, on the fourth time, F sharp, C sharp, C sharp, F sharp, D sharp minor, C sharp, C sharp, F sharp. Okay, now also I want to make note, you can play the F sharp up here too in the chorus. It sounds like sometimes they're doing the higher voicing of that power chord. Okay. Right? And then on the last time. Doesn't matter what you do, as long as you keep the nuances, you know, the same. 
All right, so for the interlude slash middle eight part, which uh, the person requested this uh, was confused about, it's just a key change, just a key change. That's all it's doing. It's doing the same chord progression as the beginning of the song, which again was F sharp, C sharp, D sharp power chord to B. But now it's here, just up a whole step. basically the same chord progression you know and then like that so something I heard though this is the genius with Fountains of Wayne again is they're doing chord inversions right so th th there's a possibility that the bass is kind of moving downward while the guitars are kind of doing this whole thing which is G sharp to D sharp power chord right but this is, you know, again, what I'm hearing. Cool, huh? And then, uh, what was the next one? Hold on, I'm looking at this again. Oh, F sharp. And then drop the finger. So you get this amazing tension in there, or you could do it like this. You could do way up here this G sharp or A flat. You know, it doesn't matter. It's still the same same thing. We could do it here, so you could hear the the bass movement a little better. Cool, huh? So literally, all that is is G sharp, D sharp, F sharp. C sharp or G sharp D sharp slash G F sharp C sharp slash F or you, you, it just it's so much easier to hear it up here awesome right so you're gonna do that a little bit. Now, in, this, in the third verse, it's just like we did um, in the second verse, the nuances, the chromatic movements. Just here instead. Now, they're throwing in that cool little uh, curveball there. Genius. Normally, if it was just like the first verse, it would go like this. turn that 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 chord into minor but they just throw in an E power chord genius all right so again here's the third verse G sharp D sharp shrink finger F minor D sharp uh, C sharp E and then the second time They stay on this longer, and then they make that C sharp minor, and then that that final chorus, really quiet. It's in the new key again, up a whole step. Love that last chorus. So it's it's got it's got that Beatles trick, man. The '60s kind of Beatles thing, right? So they're just kind of repeating like like uh, two or three times, you know. So again, that final chorus.
Does that make sense? I hope that was pretty clear. So if you're stuck on that middle eight, you know, just again, think inversions, you know, or just a simple little pattern like that. All right, I'm definitely gonna get to the other three requests that I have. Um, just to, I, I didn't forget about you. Uh, those songs are, hang on, let me take a look at these notes. It's um, Modern Baseball. Uh, we got uh, The Kooks and then we got Hot Mulligan. So I'm gonna get to those as well. Thanks. Uh, please subscribe. Again, I get 99% of my views from non-subscribers, so it would be great to have you subscribe. Seriously, uh, I only post entertaining or useful content um, all the time. So thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope your New Year's going great. Uh, if you have any special requests, again, you know exactly what to do. Leave a comment. Please subscribe. I'm almost at 2,500 subs. Uh, my goal is to hit that and well exceed it. 3,000, 5,000, 10,000. Let's go this year. All right. So um, again, I really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching and stay safe, stay healthy, be kind always, pay it forward, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks again.